Trilithic is introducing a new feature package for its 860 DSPI signal level meter. It's called the Linear Distortion Suite. It includes the Up LD option, the Upstream Linear Distortion, and the FDR option, Frequency Domain Reflectometer option. Uh, these are additional tools that can help the installer, service technician, uh, better identify and locate issues with the upstream. Uh, specifically the cable modem upstream. What is a linear distortion? Uh, linear distortions can be micro reflections, amplitude ripple, um, group delay distortions, all of which could uh, deteriorate the quality of that upstream channel. Um, how do we find them? When a cable modem sends a, a signal back to the CMTS, it creates a, a high quality perfect qualm channel. By the time it reaches the CMTS, it's probably not so perfect just due to attenuation, amplification, uh, all the way back to the head end. The CMTS looks at that signal that it receives and does what's called adaptive equalization. It sends back uh, instructions to the cable modem on how to change or adapt that upstream channel to better compensate for some of the distortions that are in the, the pathway. This is called pre-equalization at the modem. Uh, we look at this pre-equalization to give us clues and to, to tell us you know, how severe the impairments are, to, to give us an idea of where they are. Um, it can almost give us a picture of the signal that the, cable, the CMTS receives at the head end. Uh, let's take a look at the 860 and I'll give you an idea of how this feature actually works. The first display we look at is the equalizer taps display. Um, what we're looking for here are any significant peaks to the right of the primary peak towards the center of the, the display. Um, none of the peaks should really come close to or exceed the solid level line on the graph. This, this display will help us uh, detect and locate uh, micro reflections. If we look at the um, top of the graph, you'll see a small down arrow on the, looks like the third peak to the right of the primary peak. Uh, this is adjustable left and right and will give us a rough distance to the uh, impairment. Uh, if you look at the bottom right of the display, you can see the distance uh, given in feet and meters. This is a rough distance. The reason we paired this option with the FDR option is because you would use this display to identify and get a rough location on, on an impairment. Then you would use the FDR option for a much more accurate uh, uh, distance to that impairment. The next display we see is the in-channel response display. This, the easy way to think about this is this is a, um, essentially a picture of the pre-equalization that the cable modem is doing. Um, this lets us look at the upstream channel and see the, the corrections that the CMTS wants the cable modem to make to better compensate for any of the impairments uh, on the pathway back to the CMTS. Finally, we have the in-channel group delay uh, display. We know that uh, different frequencies travel at slightly different rates uh, through the coax. Uh, this is known and compensated for. Uh, sometimes specific impairments can affect specific frequencies uh, more than others. Uh, we can use the group delay option to help identify uh, this type of impairment. The, the uh, resolution on this display is adjustable and um, you'll want the ripple in the group delay to be within specific uh, limits. For additional technical training and support, contact Trilithic at 317-895 3600 or toll free at 800 344 
2412. You can also email us at support at trilithic.com. Feel free to visit our website at www.trilithic.com.